Hey there guys, I'm AJ Valentine, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, modify Payday the Heist and Payday 2. First of all, we're going to start with unpacking and repacking the bundles as mods. Um, for that, you want to find the tools at bitbucket.org and then find Zab65's repo. I'll link it in the description. <clears throat> Zab65 is Wagoth, the creator of all the tools, and they are updated by I Am Not a Spy. Um, one, once you're here, you'll find a list of tools. I'm just going to run through them for you quickly so that you know what you, you, you're grabbing. Uh, the Payday the Heist bundle tool, .zip, is, uh, well, both of the two in fact, they are for Payday the Heist. The bundle tool will unpack the .bundle files and the mod tool will pack them back in in the form of mods. And I, you use that in order to create the mods. Uh, payday 2 bundle tool and payday, two, uh, payday mod tool, they're basically the same thing but for Payday 2. As you can see, at time of recording, patch 24 is the latest Death Wish update, so it's, uh, it's, the, newest, it's the newest thing. Uh, you've also got the sound converter, which will cr um, convert the semi-custom .stream format in the game files into a playable .wav and of course back again. You've got the Payday 2 map viewer and no chromatic abrasion. We're not going to worry about those for now. But f at the moment you'll want the bundle tool, mod tool and sound converter. Download those three. Yep. And then you'll want to put them in, take them and put them into a clean workspace. You you really want everything organized. It it will it will get confusing sometimes and it's always good to just organize everything. So we'll put them in there. <clears throat> From then, what you want to do is take the payday to bundle tool, extract that, and you'll get a list of five files. The extensions.txt hash 64 dll paths.txt pd2 bundle.exe and a readme.txt you'll want to put those into your pd2 assets folder now for me that's in d drive yours would usually be in c uh, steam steam apps common pd2 assets and then you drop them in there um, you should then get four files here and the extensions somewhere up there. Don't worry if you can't find it, it gets mixed in with them. So from then on, what you want to do is in this white area somewhere, you want to shift and right click, it'll bring up a list and open command window here. From then you want to give the pd to bundle.exe some commands tell it what to do <clears throat> so we want to update it and then extract underscore all it's always good to always abstract extract and then uh, always update and then extract uh, so that nothing gets left behind or you know lost etc so pd to bundle.exe space hyphen x update space hyphen extract all you run that it'll update and then run through the dot bundles I've already got mine so I'm not going to bother with that but once it's done you'll scroll to the top and you'll have an extract folder and it will have some files what you'll want to do is move that into your clean workspace as you see I've got paid it to extracted I've already got files there as you can see so I'm just going to delete this and go to my clean workspace. As you can see, everything's there. So from that's the unpacking done. Nice and easy, sorted. From packing, you're putting, creating a mod and putting it back in the game. What you want is the PD mod tool, 1.13 at the moment. You'll extract that. 
it gave me an error last time I was attempting to record this, but it's purely a double negative. Don't don't worry about it. It's it's all good. Um, so from here, you want to run the payday uh, bundle mod patcher. <clears throat> it will give you a, a splash screen warning, first time launch, etc. Read through that when you can. Um, what you want to do is first assign the game asset folder. So you go to browse. Uh, where was it? D drive. Scroll down a D. And again, find find the assets. You you should know where it is. Game version appears to have changed since you last ran the tool because I haven't run the tool yet. Don't worry about that. And from here, we want to create a mod. Um, now I'll, I'll show you which mod I'm trying to create. Uh, it's the background of the. Uh, like the planning phase screen as you can see it's now green I, I it used to be red I've changed this around so we'll uh, untick this box first of all ooh sure enough all my mods there we'll add that to this list now it's always a very good idea to save the direct it came from so that you know where it's going. So GUI is forward slash. Make sure it's always forward slash because the the bundle tool is a bit temperamental about backslashes. Textures, PD2, menu backdrop, background base layer. Just for convenience, it's always nice to be able to just slap that in there. As I say, it's always good to write out a list of where all your files came from and what they are currently called here. So I'll close that for now. I filled in both these fields here, so I add. If it if it's incorrect in any way it will pop up with an error. You might have ticked one of these boxes, you, you might have done something wrong, whatever happens. Uh, but then we gotta give it a mod name, so payday to planning phase mod green I like green by last bullet gaming and there is an option to rewrite all X bundles usually for reskins and textures and such you do want to tick that there will be a directory of what you can and yeah, you do and do not want to tick but for now we do want to tick that so remember to tick the Re write all bundles box as it says when you uh, tick it. Rewriting all unless the mod says the mod does say, so we do it green. We'll create the mod, we'll just slap it in there where it came from and apply just as easily. Apply mod, it'll work through the bundles. Perfect time to uh, launch Steam, I think. It will back up the bundles and always create a spare backup in case you need it in the assets folder. As you can see, asset backups has now appeared. If there is a problem for any reason, you can just highlight X and move them back into assets that's that done, the mods are gone, etc. I'm not going to do that for now, that's a bit anti, uh, anti what I want. Can't think of the word. Okay, so Steam is slowly, slowly launching. And once it does, I will show you what has happened. There we go go offline briefly because I don't want spam whilst I'm doing this we go to payday launch the game might take its time, I apologise 
and as you can see it's all green if I go into say safe house mildly green with flashes of blue that that would be the uh, the video running behind it I, c I haven't edited the video yet I've only edited the, the green as you can see but uh, yeah that that's what uh, that mod, mod does um, this has just been a, a quick run of uh, how to unbundle and how to rebundle uh, next we will be showing you how to create new textures um, as for now, I've been AJ Valentine, and I wish you the best of luck with your mods. Uh, see you next time.